September 13th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Titus Chapter 1 of the New Testament. From Paul, a slave of God and apostle of Jesus Christ, to further the faith of God's chosen ones and the knowledge of the truth that is in keeping with godliness, in hope of eternal life which God, who does not lie, promised before the ages began. But now in his own time he has made his message evident through the preaching I was entrusted with according to the command of God our Savior. To Titus, my genuine son in a common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. The reason I left you in Crete was to set in order the remaining matters and to appoint elders in every town as I directed you. An elder must be blameless, the husband of one wife, with faithful children who cannot be charged with dissipation or rebellion. For the overseer must be blameless as one entrusted with God's work, not arrogant, not prone to anger, not a drunkard, not violent, not greedy for gain. Instead, he must be hospitable, devoted to what is good, sensible, upright, devout, and self-controlled. He must hold firmly to the faithful message as it has been taught so that he will be able to give exhortation in such healthy teaching and correct those who speak against it. For there are many rebellious people, idle talkers and deceivers, especially those with Jewish connections, who must be silenced because they mislead whole families by teaching for dishonest gain what ought not to be taught. A certain one of them, in fact one of their own prophets, said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. Such testimony is true for this reason. Rebuke them sharply that they may be healthy in the faith and not pay attention to Jewish myths and commands of people who reject the truth. All is pure to those who are pure, but to those who are corrupt and unbelieving, nothing is pure, but both their minds and consciousness are corrupted. They profess to know God, but with their deeds they deny Him, since they are detestable, disobedient, and unfit for any good deed. God, one of the most important things that we need to realize that as we go and teach others, as as we make disciples of the nations, uh, we're very similar to Paul setting up the churches that he did. And he would always leave a person he had, he himself had taught and trained and and discipled and put them in that place. But he would never just leave them there. Just like you never just leave us anywhere. You continue to strengthen us and guide us and prune us and teach us and discipline us and disciple us in all of the different areas that we need. And and Paul did the same thing with Titus. Uh, He left Titus in the church he had started in that area after he had already trained him and taught him and felt comfortable leaving him but he didn't just leave him hanging paul has a history of going either back and helping the people who uh, started these churches or we can thankfully see also from his writings that he was constantly in prayer for these people constantly communicating with them sending them letters sending them support sometimes sending other people to help them out and reminding them of the important things that are happening in their particular area god this is such a great reminder that as we go and teach others that we don't just flit in and out of their lives although they'll there'll be people like that 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 we cross paths with strangers that we get to talk to them about you and may never see again but for anyone that that we've invested time and energy in talking about the gospel talking about the good news helping them to learn what it means to be a christian and live that christian life that we would also ask for strength from you to continue that good work in that person's life, to be with them, to help strengthen them, to come alongside of them when they're faltering, to to be a guiding light for them, to be an example to them, just in a parallel to what Paul did, in this case with Titus or, or with other people he left at the startup churches uh, that he created. God, help us to have the strength and the discernment to know how to handle those relationships, to know what the people need to hear from us, what they don't need to hear from us, and more importantly than anything, and how you want that relationship to continue, what your will is for that relationship 
and how it is to be created from this point forward. You know, Paul's very specific in his letters. It's not just a cheerleading letter. It is very specific about issues that are happening either in that area, that church with specific people, um, really helping teach and guide and support uh, his fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. And so God, guide our steps today that as we have people in our lives that we are helping teach about that walk of faith, that you guide our steps to intentionally helping them with whatever it is that they need help with, whether it's in their lives, in their families, with their friends, or within their own heart, uh, that we would speak words of truth to them because you spoke words of truth to us. In your son's name I pray. Amen. <music>